my name is Cindy. I'm your physical therapist for today. May I ask for your name and your birthday for verification, please? Okay, so for today's session, ma'am, I'll be conducting an interview first and then I'll be doing assessment. So I would have to touch within parts of your body. Would that be okay? Okay, may I ask why you came to the clinic, ma'am? Mm, okay, so can you describe to me the pain that you're feeling right now? On a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain at all, and 10 being the worst possible pain. Mm. So, where do you usually feel the pain, mom? Mm, okay, so, does it hurt when you do any activities? Can you tell me the activities? So, if... Okay, so, do you do man, to relieve the pain, mom? Okay. Have you sustained any injuries lately, mom? That would cause the pain? Mm, okay. Obturator nerve injuries is usually caused by a nerve root compression cut from the herniated disc, anterior dislocation of the hip joint, penetrating wounds, a failed hip, fixation, hip fracture fixation, total hip arthroplasties, and pressure from um, gravid uterus or difficult labor. So the pain is usually felt along the medial aspect of the thigh and it is greatest at the knee. So now, ma'am, I'll be testing the sensations of your affected leg, ma'am, which is your right leg, okay? So I'll be using the sensation, ma'am, can you hide this here? Okay, so tell me yes, ma'am, if you feel the sensation, okay? Start ako. So now, can you close your eyes, ma'am, para matest na to if makiba ni mo? Start na ko, ma'am. So next, this time, ma'am, I'll be using a dull sensation, ma'am, so can you mo feel, ma'am, ha? Okay, so one yung light touch. Okay, ra? Okay, very good. I'll start ako. And close your eyes. Okay. Okay, very good. So open your eyes naman. So, um, after that, ma'am, we'll be doing a certain test, ma'am, which is called a slump test, ma'am. So, I want you to bring your head forward, ma'am. Ano lang? Very good. So, I'll be bringing your leg away from you. Yeah, tell me yes if you feel a sensation, okay? So, the slump test is used for testing for the obturator nerve. If any sensation is felt, that would mean that the obturator nerve is affected. So now, we will be doing range of motion assessment and manual muscle testing. For the range of motion assessment, ma'am, is for me to check as to how far your um, joints are able to move within a certain range of motion. And then, for the manual muscle testing, it is for me to check as to how strong your muscles are when doing traction. So, start na ma'am. So, ang action is, you do... Yes, ma'am. I'm going to bring your foot away the midline. Okay. Manasi yaman, ha? So, can you do it by yourself, ma'am? Okay. Very good. So, this time, I'm going to apply pressure, ma'am, ha? And try to resist me, okay? So, don't let me push you down, okay? So, start na, ma'am. One, two, three. Okay. Very good. So, now I'm going to test your range of motion, okay? So, same action na gihapon ma'am ha, okay? So, but this time, I'll be measuring using this goniometer. So, this goniometer is to measure as to how far with using the G's ma'am ha. So, I'm going to start na ma'am. Okay, align na ko ma'am. And then, okay. So, bring your feet away from you as far as you can. Start na. Okay, very good. Again. Okay, lie down on your side, ma'am. Okay, so that's your effect, um, affected leg, which is your right leg, ma'am. I'm going to bring this unaffected leg. And then I want you to bring your affected leg, your right leg, towards your left leg. Okay, Anna. Okay, very good. So, now I'll be adding resistance, ma'am. Okay, so don't let me push you down as you do the action. So, Anna, count two, three. One, two, three. Okay, very good. So, um, obturator nerve injuries usually result with a decreased range of motion and muscle strength to hip adduction and external rotation. So now we'll be doing obturator nerve flossing to be done 5 to 10 reps to mobilize the nerve. So ma'am, with your back straight, bring your arms towards your back. Okay, very good. Now bring your chin downwards. Okay, so next, bring your leg away at the same time. Bring your chin upwards. Okay, very good. Then, go back to starting position. Okay, so we'll be doing this for 5 to 10 reps, ma'am. So 
So next, we'll be doing obturator nerve tensioning, which is to be done two weeks after to avoid further damaging to the nerve. Now, mom, with your back straight, bring your arms behind you and position your legs away and then bring your chin downwards. Okay. Next, bring your leg in and at the same time, bring your chin up. Okay. So we'll be doing this five to ten reps. Okay, you can start in the count of three. Very good. Okay. Now let's do stretching exercises of two sets of 20 second hold to increase tissue extensibility, range of motion, and reduce risk of experiencing strains. So first, let's do lying a doctor stretch. Okay, so first lie down on the ground, ma'am, and then bring your legs up straight towards the ceiling. Okay, so now spread your legs as far as possible to the sides and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, very good. So I'll return to starting position and then re repeat it for another two to three times. Okay. Next is the seated groin stretch. So mom, sit on the ground. Okay. Bring your feet together in front of you, ma'am, while keeping your back straight. Okay. Now hold your feet with your hands and try to bring your knees as close to the ground as possible. So if you need help, you can push your knees downwards to feel that stretch. Now hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. Now let's do this for 2 to 3 reps. Next is the wide stance adductor stretch. So, okay, ma'am. So, position yourself. So, stand with a wide um, stance, ma'am, wider than your shoulder width and with your toes pointing outwards. Okay. Now, lower yourself down into a squat position until your thighs are parallel. Anna, very good, ma'am. Now, place your knees and push gently out to the sides as far as you are comfortable, ma'am. Okay, very good. So now hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat it two to three times. So now let's do strengthening exercises to strengthen hip adductors to be done two sets of five to ten reps. So first let's do ball squeezes. So if there is no ball to be found, you can use a pillow or anything that is hard enough to resist you. So now mom, place the ball or the pillow in between your legs and then try to bring your knees together. Okay, like that. Okay, so let's do that for 5 to 10 reps. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next, let's do side lying hip adduction. So first mom, lie down on your side. Okay, kira ka mom, kira ka. So next, bring your arms in front of you with your elbows and forearms on the ground for support. Okay, so next, ma'am, I want to cross your legs, ma'am. So I'm hung left heel, kay na isa in front, I'm hung right thigh. Okay, now keeping your right leg straight, lift it upwards as far as possible towards your left thigh. Okay, and slowly return to starting position. Okay, very good. Let's do this, ma'am, for 5 to 10 reps. Next, we'll do lateral or side lunges, ma'am. So, you can add dumbbells with this one to increase difficulty. So, stand with feet hip width apart and hold the dumbbells at your chest level. Now, take a large step to your side and drop your hips down and back until your thigh is parallel with the ground while keeping your other foot planted to the floor. Okay, slowly lang ma'am. Very good. Now, push through your bent leg and then bring yourself back to starting position. Okay, very good. Now, do that for 5 to 10 reps, ma'am. Okay, very good. 